Hey guys and welcome to another video. Do you like romantic anime? Well, if you don't, even then this uh, particular theme is right for you and everybody else because Kaicho wa Meitsama is a perfect combination of a teen love story struggling about friendship and first crushes and just about everything related to how teens survive in that period of their lifetime when they have to have first jobs and try to make a connection with different other people so uh, and of course uh, maybe one of the most perfect and uh, most beloved characters and even couples are located right in this anime so I warmly suggest that if you haven't already watched this anime um, you have all my uh, thumbs up to go and check it out because uh, we have on the right Usui and we have the main character uh, in this anime and she's actually a uh, Kaicho actually she's like more of a student class president who works part-time as a maid in a maid cafe and gets discovered by this pretty popular uh, hunky guy who threatens to expose her and embarrass, embarrass her in front of her friends uh, if they find out about her job and all she tries to do is actually uh, get enough money and just um, uh, try to get by so this is a really interesting uh, story but let's talk more about uh, the drawing itself as you can see I started off by making uh, their busts, their faces drawn out and if you look uh, close enough you can see that all of these uh, facial lines are actually uh, something that we already talked about in my previous videos about drawing manga faces male and female this is where you can actually see a male and a female face side by side in one drawing and believe it or not uh, as I said in many other videos, the rules for drawing out the faces for males and females are the same. Uh, they're the same places where you place the character's eyes, lips, nose, but you shape them differently because girls have bigger eyes and boys have smaller eyes. Girls have um, smaller eyebrows and boys have closer eyebrows to the eyes and a bit thicker eyebrows. These are the main points on the faces that can make your boy into a girl and make your girl into a boy. If you want to get that result, that's perfectly fine. But if you don't, then please be careful and check out the links in the description to see uh, all about the videos I have mentioned about drawing female faces, manga faces and the differences between them. Uh, I have used a really pale shade of color for the skin for both characters and also I wanted to um, maybe make a little uh, digression about the color of the skin for manga characters. A lot of Caucasian people are convinced that uh, manga characters are actually Caucasian, but they're not. Um, they're just regular normal people and normal Japanese people and the skin color you see in anime is actually the skin color that Japanese also have and there's nothing different between uh, humans in general except if somebody's really really dark in their tan or has an African descent. So basically when when people ask me why do um, Japanese mangaka uh, draw anime characters white people? No, they're actually drawing them as Japanese people but white Caucasian people usually just interpret them as white. But it's not something that actually matters because people are people no matter the color of their skin or hair there are just only two types of differences in people that I personally consider important and that's good people and bad people so uh, to put the philosophy on the side uh, and to show you a huge mess that I'm about to make with a marker that just 
spilled on my characters here. I will show you in a fast motion how to actually uh, try to undo the damage when something like this happens. Uh, something you should definitely uh, learn to do when a Copic marker decides to spill on your drawing is first not panic. Second of all, try to use some tissue paper to make the, the spilled area uh, stop spreading and then you can use white, uh, white paint or white gel pen to replace the white surface you got your marker spilled on. Later on, when this white surface actually um, cools off and dries out, you can use your um, fine liner to draw out the missing piece and maybe even color, color it over when it's dry enough. Uh, be careful about your Copics and be careful about any kind of markers, but especially refillable ones. Don't overdo it. As I said in my previous video about refilling Copic markers, you shouldn't refill them too much because then they will spill out and make a mess. I hope you enjoyed the video and the tips for this week, and let's see our result! And they're done! If you want to learn how to draw in a style like this, you can always support my work by getting your own copy of Manga Crash Course book, available on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble's bookstores and online bookstores, and any local bookstores wor worldwide. So. Here you can find out all about drawing manga faces, hairs, creating entire characters and scenes, and that's about it. See you guys next time!